hi there this is any business with your friend Simeon you're welcome back to my youtube channel once again in today's video we are going to be talking about sorting of catfish the reason why you nurse your catfish before you know sorting them and in the video we are going to be basically looking at uh, four things i mean four reasons why we stock the catfish be it the fingerlings the post fingerlings and the juvenile the reason why you stock those three set of fish maybe in ethan pond in concrete pond in tapulip pond and at the end of the day you sort it you know in most of the video you've been watching on youtube a lot of people i mean youtubers will be advising you you have to stock your fish you sort them you do this thing so that you can acquire a good result but most of the time they don't tell us the full reason why we have to nurse them before stocking them in this video with your friend Simeon here I will tell you four reasons why you have to stock the fish and nurse them and at the end of the day sort them then restock them so follow me let's watch the video to the very end all right you're welcome back one of the first reason is cannibalization to avoid cannibalization when you restock them at first when you stock them at juvenile level most of those fish are not uniform like you might have both uh, post fingerlings and juvenile inside the same set of fish number two is to know the size of feed they are going to be taking for instance now if you have a juvenile and post fingerlings inside your pond and at the end of the day you have reached the level whereby your fish are supposed to be taking 3 mm you know the post fingerlings that are inside the pond or maybe the ones that are close to juvenile and juvenile are close to the ones of uh, smoking size at the end of the day you would want to give them 3 mm because they have reached some certain level whereby they are supposed to be taking that 3 mm so that 3 mm the ones that are small won't be able to take that 3 mm but the ones that are big will take that 3 mm conveniently so that is one of the reasons why we decided to do what to nurse the fish and at the end of the day sort them when it's time that is number two number three part of it is for you to know the exact number of fish you stock in your pond when you restock them now let me explain this thing in a simple way for instance as when you get something like a 1000 pieces of catfish they are going to give you maybe uh, 50 or 25 pieces as the mortality this thing which is the extra one right then you stock something like 1000 let's assume you stock 1050 pieces inside your pond so at the end of the day when you stock them you know feed them i told you that cannibalization will occur right and sickness might stay occur whereby you will lose some so at the end of the day if you now pack them out to sort them out you will know the exact number of fish you stock in your pond after the sorting and counting and doing of everything for instance if you lose something like 25 pieces which is on at the top then you know you stock 1000 pieces so you will know the exact number of feet or kg of feet they are supposed to take in a day which means you are stocking 1000 pieces so the amount of money you are going to spend will be that of 1000 in a situation whereby you get something less than 1000 you would have already know the number of fish you stock inside the same pond you are getting my point so you nurse them and at the end of the day you sort and recount just to know the number of fish you stock at the end of the day because if you stock them directly without sorting them in at the end you won't know how many mortality you lose right from their uh, young age when they were post fingerless or when they were juvenile but when you stock them and you sort and you recount when they are a bit aged then you will know the exact number of fish you stock that is number three now the number four is to get a uniform size inside the same pond for instance this uh, number four also cover the number one number two uh, i think number three too so it has to do with a uh, uniform when the fish are uniform if you have the same fish inside your pond you know after sorting you will have the one that are small you might have three set of size inside it you might have two set of size inside it so the 
first second size if they can match each other then you do not have issue with them for instance look at this finger this one is not that taller than this so these two can go together in a pond but in a situation whereby you are having this one and this one you could you would have noticed that this finger is taller than this one so there is no how they can stay together in a pond but if you are having these two inside your pond they can both swim together eat together and play together inside the pond without cannibalizing each other but in the case whereby the other one is smaller to the one you put in the pond still cannibalization will happen even after sorting the fish inside the pond so the number four reason why we sort the fish after nursing them is to get the same uniform fish inside one pond so if you are not having up to two or three size of fish after you bring out the fish to salt then sort them you either into three ponds if you have available pond or you sort them inside two pond like i told you the one that are not that bigger than each other can go inside one pond they can stay together and the one that are smaller will go into extra pond if you decided to keep them all together then the cannibalization will continue until you sell them so and if they are uniform it will be easy for you to buy if that are supposed to take 3 mm take 4 mm so you will have the mindset of buying 4 mm for them directly and 3 mm for them directly and the younger ones will be able to take 2 mm or 3 mm that they can easily take in a situation whereby they are taking the same size of feed because they are of the same size if you feed them to their satisfaction and they are okay all of them will just go and play and mostly the mouths of those ones that are uniform or that are not that bigger than each other won't be wide enough to swallow the one that is a bit lesser than them you are getting the point so the one that is a little bit bigger than the other one that are inside the same pond their mouth won't be big enough to swallow their meat that is a bit lesser in size than them but if you have the one that are much lesser than them at the end of the day their mouth will be big enough to swallow them because the feed you give them in the first place is not satisfying and number two they are hungry so they have to cannibalize because their mouth is big enough wide enough to swallow the one that is small inside the pond those are the four reasons why we nurse our catfish at a juvenile level then sort them at the end of the day at what month are you supposed to sort your fish some people tend to sort when their fish are two months and some sort when their fish are one month those who sort their fish at two months are the people that keep hybrid mostly and they want to stock them to you know this seven months eight months or six months plus before selling so they will have to wait for the fish to be a little bit aged before sorting but some that have clearers it is better to sort after one month it's now left for you to sort maybe weekly or maybe twice in a month or wait for a whole month before you sort if it's not a big job for you you can sort weekly or you sort uh, every two weeks or you sort at the end of the month but there is something you need to understand no matter how you sort your catfish some will still tend to grow bigger even if they are uniform inside the pond those who quickly eat feed those who quickly react to the feed you are dropping them and also are healthy will tend to grow faster than those who struggle to eat at the end of the day and if you are not patient enough to feed them to their satisfaction there are chances for you to still be having smaller one inside the pond because when you are feeding them some will quickly rush the feed to eat and some will be at the back some will even notice there is feed already and some will come late might not benefit from the feed because you thought those who rush the feed are already satisfied so if you now leave the ones that came late might not get something to eat and thereby they will be getting smaller while the others that are benefiting the feed will be getting bigger so chances might still be there for you to still sort or they might later on cannibalize each other in the future that is the reason why you have to be patient and feed gradually and also wait some time to feed your catfish before you leave if you want to sort your catfish your nursing catfish the best one to sort them is either one 
or two months so if you are going to two months i've already explained it if you are going for one month i've already explained it so that is just all about the sorting the nonsense and the restocking and everything so that is the reason why we nurse the fish before stocking so we don't want to lose much of the fish and we also want to know the available numbers of fish in the pond because there is no how you stock your fish that you are not going to have mortality right from their younger age it might not be disease might not be anything but situation like this happen when it comes to fish farming so thereby it is very very advisable and necessary for you to sort your fish whenever time you stock them so thank you for watching my videos i really appreciate it. don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to like the video don't forget to share and also drop a comment my name is simeon o james you are free to call me on the number you're seeing on the screen